with those are blizzards. What could they want with Tommy? I don't know. They shouldn't even be out in the sector. Climb on my shield, sweeties. I've got an idea. What? Just hop on. Dad, I'm not a kid anymore. I don't want a piggyback ride. Stop playing around. One of our crew is in danger. I know. And this will help. Whoa, Dad. Where did you land this? Dad? Uh, uh, sweetie! Can you hear me? me? I, uh... Oh, oh, didn't think this through! Where did you learn this from? Uh, I just thought it might work! Uh, I assumed since the Hexacore's warning about getting too close to unidentifying flying crabs on the other planet due to the shields possibly destroying them, <sighs> I figured... Wait, what? You figured it was a good idea to try something that might have destroyed me? What the hell, Dad? Relax, honey! You're alive and well, and you're almost there! Thanks, then. Get out of Thesis! You heard us! We demand a meeting! Hi! I'm Thomas of the... Uh, the ship! It speaks! Turn down your speaker and get out! Okay, um, there's a problem. This is me. We do not see you! No, you do. I'm right here. I'm the ship, as you call me. Get up now! I will not ask again! As I was saying, I am, or I guess I was, the Hexacor Foreign Relations Liaison. For if my species ever locate the Vito Ray. <laughs> Video Blu Ray is not a species. Yes. No. I am not a Vito Ray. I am Thomas of the Hexacorrelation Agency in the Andalin Galaxy. I represent the race known as the Exinitians. <gasps> like the train? Yes. Like Thomas the Train. I require more information. Where are we? On your ship? Who is outside? Ghost! Get the gear! We know you are here, Spirit! Accept your demise! It's getting hard to breathe again! Oh. You sure it's Ghost? I think I see someone outside. Let me talk to her. Hey, Commander. Are you okay, Thomas? I'm sorry we left you. We should have fought harder. We need you on our team. I'm fine. Thanks for saying that. They haven't killed you? No. They're blizzards, though. We are not. They said they are not. We are the fizzies. Tell them not to hurt you. I'm fine. I'm pretty sure telling them not to hurt me isn't a sound game plan either, Gramps. Good point, son. Why are they in a Blizzard Mothership? I will ask. Why are you on a Blizzard Mothership? Good question. Easy answer. We found it! They said they found it. Hey, you guys think I could go back? This has been fun and all, but I have work to do. Uh, you may leave. We don't want to eat you anymore. We will call you a friend. Thank you. Thanks for calming the spirits. No, remember, it's his friends. Then no thank you. So, are we going back to the mission? Yeah. Let's 
just head home. I'm not making that journey back for minimum wage. Hey, I'd like to cancel a report. Uh, a few uh, a few weeks ago, as you may recall, I had uh, called about a terrifying sound. I could have sworn. I mean, yeah, I, I think I swore to you guys that it it was it was surely an alien. That's what that's what this line is for. Um, well, anyway, recently I started asking my neighbors about said noise and learned that one of them, uh, old Miss G, let's just say G for now, uh, she had started her own. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry, uh, webcam service, but she was doing not so well, and she had to skimp on some of the more extravagant costs. So, uh, long story short, she uh, purchased a low-end sex machine. It works with hydraulics and pistons, but it skimps on the much-needed quiet factor. Uh, it was so loud. Hell, that's why. <laughs> that's why I called last time. It it just goes poofum. Buffoom, 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 <laughs> and and then you, um, and then you factor in her noises that she was making. You can see why I was petrified. Um, but yeah, uh, cancel my old report. It was not an alien. Um, it was a sex toy. I wonder how many reports you guys get that are just overly loud sex toys. Um, have, have a good night. Bye.